First Responders with Paige Tucker on NBC26. Just two days before Thanksgiving, a first responder laid to rest. Richmond County investigator Cecil Ridley died last week in the line of duty. May the husband, father, and grandfather always be remembered for his service to our community. This time of year when we're counting our blessings, we remember the first responders who protect and serve every day. Kim was nominated as a first responder for her military service, but also for the work she does as president and CEO of Forces United. She's on the front lines fighting veteran suicide. The numbers are staggering, 22 veteran suicides a day. I truly believe that the work that not only that we do, but our community does collectively, not only impacts lives, but probably saves lives. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, sometimes people just don't have hope and they don't know who to reach out to. Staff Sergeant Jamie Moss sees his work as a police officer as more than a job. For him, it's a calling. I saw that there was a never-ending um, need out here that for people that just need somebody to show them some, some compassion, um, give them some hope. Uh, and that's, that's what I try to come out here and do every day. One minute you could be, you know, delivering a baby. Next one, you could be getting a cat out of a tree. So it's kind of just up in the air on everything. <laughs> in fact, in his 19-year career, King says he's delivered nine babies. And he's done a lot to serve the citizens of Columbia County. Just fell in love with, with the helping people, um, the adrenaline rush, because the, the, you never know from day to day or hour to hour what you're going, what kind of call you're going on. For the first responders answering those calls day in and day out, we're especially grateful during the season of Thanksgiving. And we thank Wayne's Towing and Southeastern Armory for making it possible to shine a light on the unsung heroes all year long. I'm Paige Tucker.